Thank you for coming to this presentation. Uh, it's, this paper is called uh, Continuous Time Temporal Graph Deep Generating Models with Time Validated Constraint. This is Li Ming Zhang. Uh, first introductions. So as we know, current deep generating model of graph structure data, uh, while they mainly focus on static graphs, and there is many application challenges involve temporal graph whose topology and attribute values evolves dynamic over time. Uh, however, prescribed models are developed for temporal graph uh, previously and deep models are needed for large scale data. So in this paper, we propose the temporal graph generative adversary network called TGGAM for continuous time graph generation with time validated constraint. Uh, first, uh, about temporal graphs. So you can see in real world applications uh, such as transportation graph and also the uh, IP uh, network. And uh, uh, for the representations of the graphs, so we have uh, either continuous time on the left and also discrete time uh, on the right. So uh, we will focus on the real valued continuous time, which is the, uh, the full representation of all uh, complete information. So first, let's talk about the challenge. There is difficulties in ensuring the temporal validity of the generated graph. For example, the we can see here uh, in uh, three seconds, uh, that uh, is the total time budget. And in the 0.7 seconds, there is the edge from V1 to V6. And then in uh, another, 1.5 seconds, you will have uh, another edge connection from, to, from five to seven. And then since uh, the other edge, like uh, V4 to V8, uh, need uh, 1.9 seconds uh, to happen, so it will be closed because there's no time left. So the graph will be completed to the end. And also the such, uh, <clears throat> another graph sample could be uh, after the V1 to V6, both V2 and V3 and V5 to V7 can happen uh, at different time. So after this, so V2, V3 can have additional connection to V4 to V8. And uh, both V7 and V8 will be close. So this can be another graph samples. Okay, so the second challenge in learning temporal graph is the distribution in both the discrete value topology and continuous value time dimensions. Uh, like we said, uh, mm, there's a lot of work on this, uh, both real value time and uh, uh, discrete time. So we try to solve real value times. And uh, third difficulty in jointly uh, encoding and decoding topology and temporal informations. For example, this graph example, uh, if we add the continuous time to it. So you will see that uh, uh, such temporal work uh, can uh, be a, a sample differently during different time and uh, also consider different topologies as each of this uh, dynamic system. So related work in, uh, include like temporal graph generation in general, like conver conventional methods, they are based on prescribed structure assumptions such as probabilistic uh, configurations 
and the stochastic block models, SBM, is quite famous. And uh, the second uh, uh, part is the deep generating model for graphs. Uh, however, the, the, most of such model is based on the concept of different supervised learning technique for graphs. Uh, but uh, most of current work is for static graph. Uh, until this work, there's only one uh, work tag game uh, in 2020. That's for the temporal graph. So the overall structure in our paper is a temporal graph G can be denoted as the union of all the temporal works. So such uh, temporal works is coming from the PGS functions. And uh, TGGAN uh, uh, is proposed to capture the topological and the temporal pattern of temporal graphs by learning the distribution of temporal graph. It utilizes a GAN structure. Uh, so the first thing here you see is generate generator discriminator. And the most unique thing for our work here is the constraints functions. And uh, uh, to before I introduce some detail, uh, there's two new definition, which is very important for our work. So first is the uh, time budget temporal works. So uh, time budgets is uh, record how much time left for the future uh, graphs to be completed. So instead of the uh, original time stamps. So start with all budget. Uh, so with all the t uh, time uh, for, for the graph. And uh, at the end, the time budget will be zero. And the second definition is the truncated temporal works. So uh, temporal graph can maybe have maybe one uh, no, uh, edge, and it can also have millions of nodes. So truncated, uh, uh, we truncated long temporal graph to fixed length short sequence uh, to be able to uh, make connections between this short sequence, uh, we additional add the profile information, which indicate uh, x is equal to one, which means this short sequence is from the very start and uh, can also have the budget and also have uh, another binary indicator if this uh, truncated temporal work is the very last one. And the framework we have here. Uh, so in general, we the generator utilize the uh, LSTM as the basic model, and there is the special design to for, uh, decode the nodes as G and also encode the nodes, and also decoding and encoding the time budget. Uh, there's uh, on the right, the discriminator utilize a similar uh, LSTM classifications. However, to get the real uh, samples, we use some samplers, which can extract the time budget temporal work from the or all the graphs. So in inference uh, phases, uh, so we can think about the uh, way just generate one more work until y equals to one, but uh, isn't that too easy? So uh, there's two uh, cases we need to think about. First is the weak uh, temporal diffusion. So we can just uh, assemble uh, all the truncated work coronarically. So, mm, and another case is strong temporal diffusion case. So we directly generate a whole work from x to one until y to uh, uh, equals to one. This makes sure that the modeling of dependencies between truncated work. However, uh, this is a asynchronized process that uh, 
uh, determine the overall uh, algorithm complexity. So uh, because the length of different uh, generation, uh, different time of generation from x equal one to y equal one is different. So you cannot do it parallelly. So you only need, you, you can only do it step by step. Okay, uh, for the end-to-end -end time distributions uh, inference, so we have two modules. First is time decoder, which generate time budget with a non-parametric distribution utilizing a, a job out layer similar to job out la layer concept so that it can sem uh, model uh, non-parametric distributions. And uh, second, we utilized uh, temporal valid uh, activations to ensure the constraint. So as you see in these uh, pictures. So this operation is very similar to the auxiliary operation like a uh, min max bounding through uh, nested rule. And also, you know, uh, a very famous operation like batch norm normalization operations. So our proposed uh, uh, is very, uh, our proposed uh, constraint activation is very similar to the batch normalization. So, and of course the node uh, X, Y profile, how to encode dec uh, decode them, uh, we utilize the commonly used uh, Gumbo Max parameterizations to allow the gradient flow for categorical distributions. Uh, so uh, another challenge is that uh, we need to evaluation such high dimensional samples, uh, which means in uh, uh, first we for all the unsupervised learning, we expect the generated data to keep original patterns while have enough novelties uh, and also avoid model collapsing for games. And two temporal graphs cannot be directly computed for similarities. So we relied on indirected measurement of properties. So such measurements are very high dimensional. For example, a node have a maybe like seven value of property and uh, a graph could have a tens of thousands nodes. And uh, so we have uh, 70,000 uh, uh, such uh, matrix. And uh, for such high dimension sample graph, maybe like we have 1000 uh, graph and uh, for each one, we have seven times 10,000 uh, matrix. So uh, we need to uh, utilize MMD distance to better compute the similarity score. So which is much better than the like a uh, median or Jason, uh, Jason Shannon uh, uh, similarity. So uh, this is also used by the graph uh, RNN papers. And in this work, we use the real world data set which is 90 node for the transportation and another is 20 node for authentication graph. And also we use synthetic data set. Uh, it's a temporal scale free graph which can simulate it with 100 node, 500 node and 2500 node. Comparison methods we uh, compare with tag gain, uh, graph we eat, net gain and graph uh, RNN and also a traditional method DSBN. So uh, for the continuous time measurement, uh, our, as you can see, our TG again uh, achieved the best uh, performance for most of the cases. And also for discrete time measurement, uh, our TG again also get the best uh, performance, which is the lowest uh, MMD distance and uh, uh, another thing we can do to for the synthetic uh, data set is that uh, we can estimate the ground uh, the parameters and compare with the ground truth in our simulations. So for qualitative comparisons, uh, as you can see, uh, our uh, methods also achieve very good uh, sim similar properties. And uh, thank you. Please check out GitHub for more detail and the paper for more detail. Thank you.